Google has released two new Nexus devices in 2015, the Nexus 5X, which retails for about $380 off contract, and the Nexus 6P, which retails for about $500 off contract. If you're unsure about which device you want to buy and you care about performance above everything else, this video is for you. In this video, I'm going to compare the speed of the Nexus 5X with the speed of the Nexus 6P through a series of benchmarks and real world speed tests. So let's not waste any more time. Time is money. First, I ran each device through a series of benchmarks. Uh, the first app I used was Geekbench 3, which tests the CPU performance of each device and spits out a single core and multi-core score. It's by far the most widely accepted benchmark app. Now, the Nexus 5X is equipped with a Snapdragon 808 hexa-core processor with 2GB of RAM, and the Nexus 6P is equipped with the Snapdragon 810 octa-core processor with 3GB of RAM. Both devices are running stock Android 6.0 Marshmallow. The Nexus 5X is powering a 5.2-inch Full HD 1080p LCD display, while the Nexus 6P is powering a 5.7-inch QHD AMOLED display. So even though the Nexus 6P features more powerful specs, it pushes more pixels, which requires more power. The first time I ran Geekbench 3, the Nexus 5X received a single core score of 1,223 and a multi-core score of 3,553, while the Nexus 6P received a single core score of 1,356 and a multi-core score of 4,578. I did want to run the test again to confirm these numbers. On the second test, the Nexus 5X received a single core score of 1,240 and a multi-core score of 3,504, while the Nexus 6P received a single core score of 1,343 and a multi-core score of 4,435. So the scores aren't too much different between each test. The multi-core score of the Nexus 6P is really the only score that significantly outnumbers the score of the Nexus 5X by about a thousand points. The next test I ran was Antutu Benchmark, which tests the CPU and the GPU. It too is a pretty well respected and frequently used benchmark. Uh, it gives us a score with a bar graph that ranks the performance of the device you are testing with the performance of other devices. The Nexus 5X received a score of 46,871, and the Nexus 6P received a score of 53,000. 408. So that's about uh, 600, or I shall say 6,000 point difference. The third and the final benchmark I ran was 3D Mark, and instead of the Ice Storm Unlimited test I usually run, I decided to run the new Slingshot test, which renders animations and graphics at a 2560 by 1440 resolution before scaling. The Graphics Test 1 highlights GPU performance using particles and post-processing effects. The Graphics Test 2 focuses on volumetric illumination, and the Physics Test measures CPU performance. So you get a little bit of everything. I do really like 3 d Mark for testing the GPU performance especially. With that said, the Nexus 5X received a score of 1048, while the Nexus 6P received a score of 1420. So you guys all know math. That's about a 400 point difference. But please feel free to run these benchmarks on your devices and let me know the scores you received in a comment down below. Now we are certainly not done. The next test I conducted was a real world performance test that basically consists of opening up a series of applications in sequence. I would make sure there were no running applications in the background and then I would start the stopwatch and immediately open up the first app in the sequence. I would wait for the content to load and then proceed to the very next app. The apps I used in sequence were YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Google+, Photos, Calculator, Spotify, Calendar, the Play Store, the Phone app, Messenger app, Google Chrome, and the Camera. Usually I would stop there and record the time it took, but this time I immediately proceeded to open up each app for a second time to test how well each device opened apps that were already running in the background. So it's one thing to record the speed of how fast an app opens, it's another to record how fast a device can return to an already open app. I will say, obviously there's going to be some error. I'm not perfect at conducting this sort of test. I don't think anybody is. But the results were incredibly close. The Nexus 5X finished with a time of 58.88 seconds. Get this, the Nexus 6P finished with a time 
of 58.77 seconds. I don't know about you, but to me, it's pretty clear that these two devices perform very, very similarly in terms of their performance. You really can't get much closer than that. In addition to all of those tests, I finished with a simple Chrome browser performance test. I loaded up phonedog.com to see which device would load the site fastest. Uh, the Nexus 6P loaded content uh, hair faster than the Nexus 5X, but I couldn't notice any significant difference. Uh, there was a lot of elements to load on phonedog.com, so I proceeded to load youtube.com slash phonedog. The Nexus 6P did load content faster. I then proceeded to load twitter.com slash phone dog and the Nexus 6P once again did load the page slightly faster. I finished the browser test by loading facebook.com slash phone dog and the Nexus 6P to my surprise, well, it loaded the content faster, but not by too much. If you're in the market for a new Nexus device and you're held up on your decision based off the performance, maybe you want the Nexus 6P for its more powerful CPU, but you don't want to spend the extra 100 plus dollars don't worry too much about the performance. In my opinion, it's more about the build quality that you'll want to spend the most time considering because as you can see here through these tests, the performance is very similar between both devices. You don't necessarily need the top of the line specs to run stock Android fluidly. So I just want you to make an informed decision. If you could save some money, save some money. With that said, I'm looking forward to hearing your thoughts of these devices in the comment section below. As always, I'm BoHD from PhoneDog.com. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you right back here in the next one. See ya.